guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are filming a Primark haul. Pretty big one, not the biggest. I bought loads, but I actually bought loads of stuff that I'm gonna be including within my gift guides coming up very soon. I like to upload them early November just so you guys have a good amount of time of shopping before Christmas and they are coming very soon. I'm gonna do a gift guide for her, for him, stocking fillers and secret Santas, like on a budget. And then of course, like last year, I'm gonna be doing a supporting small businesses gift guide as well. So stay tuned for all of that, but for today, I'm gonna to share with you the new items I did pick up for my home, Primark Home is killing it at the minute. They have some amazing stuff in, and the Manchester store, which is the one I went to, is amazing. I mean, the whole top floor is now pretty much homeware and PJs. And then I also did pick up some fashion items, of which I'm gonna share with you after the home bits, and I'm gonna actually stand up, try them on, let you know my eye opinions on the fit and everything. But stay tuned for that, because I have something very exciting to say in terms of they have like a new range. Very exciting. I love how they individually brown wrap paper everything. Brown paper wrap everything as well, just to keep it all protected. So, if you remember from my previous Primark haul, I featured a trinket dish in this finish, this kind of stoneware ceramic finish. It's kind of a hammer dish dressed in regular shape which I got the little pot for in a bathroom and I thought this tray would be ideal in my bathroom only six pounds with my Aesop soap hand soap and hand wash and hand moisturizer just to sit on I feel like to organize and make a space look clean having a little tray like that is a good tip so yeah, I bought that for my bathroom at six pounds. And if you are new to my channel, then we are renovating. We've just renovated the top two floors of our house. So it's at the stage now, for me anyway, the most exciting stage of actually styling up the rooms and decorating everything. This is a long label for a little house. As you may remember from last year, I like collecting these little white ceramic houses for Christmas scenes and decorating at Christmas. This one is a tea light holder, so it can light up as well. And it was only £2.50, bargain. I also got this candle from the Christmassy New In range, and it is in the shape of a star. So it's a pillar candle that you could have sat on a tray, maybe in and amongst some foliage, maybe as a tablescape. And at only £1.50, it's a bargain. We know how much I love my bargains. I did also pick up this reed diffuser in a new scent that I've never spotted before. It's in the scent Woodland, Forest Pine and Winter Woods, which if you know me, this scent is all me at Christmas. So £2.50 this one is, lasts up to eight weeks. And then if you want, you can now purchase refills. So I didn't see any in the Woodland scent, but I did see a few others I saw Spa, linen, and cotton. I opted for the linen refill. So it just comes in a bottle like so, just plain and simple. So it's only three pounds, this one. This is something that I've seen on Instagram and was so drawn to that I was like, I'm gonna have to get this. So I currently have a glass butter dish but I decided to opt for this one. I just feel like it's a little bit cooler. It's really deep, which I love because my glass one currently, we're, we're Lurpak fans in this household. So if you get a Lurpak butter and put it in a butter dish, our butter dish isn't deep enough. So it squashes the butter, which is a bit of a pain. So this is music to my ears. The fact that it's nice and deep and it has this gorgeous kind of hatched, texture on it, a crisscross texture in this beautiful stone color. It's a bit more modern. So this is eight pounds and my battery's dying. One second. Okay, there we go. So next up, I got this set of, in fact, let me just, oh, forget it. They had it all nicely wrapped and I've unwrapped it by accident. But anyway, it's a little washcloth which if you've seen on Instagram, my homework account, I posted a picture of a new stool that I've got in, uh, in my sort of in the main bathroom. It's like a rustic teak stool, which is actually from the same place this vase is from, which is gorgeous, from Robinson Interiors. It's a local brand to me, I popped in. I have currently a little hand towel thrown over, but there's something about the texture of this that I thought would look 
really nice with this thrown over it. So it is a set of two and they come with a little loop like that. It's essentially like a face cloth that you can pop in, pop your hand in. But just to have those on the stool, I thought it would look really nice. They were £3.50 for the pair. Oh, I love this. This is like a, it's not a charger plate. They did actually have some gorgeous charger plates, which would be so ideal for Christmas. But honestly, I didn't have the arm strength to carry some, because if you get a charger plate, I feel like you've got to get the full set. But anyway, this is kind of a, more of a longer serving platter shape. Plain glass, although I say plain, it's actually really distressed and kind of got like a bubble, bobbled effect with it having the gold rim, but it's not like a perfect gold rim. Do you see what I mean? It's really <clears throat> rustic. Maybe it's something like a Yule log. Yule log's my favorite Christmas dessert. Uh, I'm not really a fan of Christmas desserts considering I have a sweet tooth. But anyway, nine pounds this one was, and I just honestly think it's well worth that. It's a gorgeous shape, gorgeous finish. This is kind of like a designer style item. I feel like H&M maybe have had something similar to this, or Zara. It's purely just a decorative ornament that kind of acts as a bit of a, a paperweight, maybe on top of coffee table books or something, or I suppose you could use it as a paperweight but it was only four pounds, just in plain matte black. And there's just something about it that I just thought, yeah, that kind of little added detail would look gorgeous styled up on a bookshelf. I got two of these glassware items. They remind me of, if you remember, White Company used to have the mercury stained tea light holders. I think they have a smaller one this year. These are slightly larger and they kind of act as tumblers. I suppose they would look good in a bathroom. I think they might have even had these in the bathroom section from memory where you can use them as a little toothbrush holder or something or pen and pencil holder, maybe in a home office. But I just thought these would look good as little tea light holders in and amongst your tablescape. They're only £3.50 each. And then for Christmas gift wrap, I picked up this set of 20 gift tags, all different designs. You know, like if you've got a family of four maybe and you want to keep track of who's Prezi's who, then you could maybe just keep each family member to one gift tag. And then I also got this, they had di different designs, but this is the one that I opted for at £2. It's a set of four different designs of ribbon and I like the kind of forest green at the minute. I love that kind of hessian natural fabric. So I'm probably going to be doing quite a bit of brown craft paper with whites in there and maybe even forest greens. I think a really nice velvet forest green ribbon would look lovely. There's maybe a sprig of mistletoe in there as well. Okay, I've got two accessories to share with you before moving on to the clothing, but that is everything for homeware. I saw this new range. So this is one of the new elements that Primark are doing in terms of bringing in a bit more premium, a bit more luxe kind of items. So from their jewellery section, they now have a set of 14 karat gold plated jewellery. So this is part of the Autumn Winter 2021 collection, which essentially means new in. And I just love it. Really like it. So that was only £6. So this too, again, we're talking quality here. This is 100% wool. They have these fedora hats at £9. I love the idea of wearing a fedora around Christmas markets, Manchester Christmas markets with maybe an all black outfit and just this nice neutral beige colored fedora. I just really like it. And now I'm gonna switch the camera up, stand up and try on the clothing bits that I got with you guys. So first of all, I picked up this set and this isn't gonna be a try on. I picked up this set of three bralettes or like they're kind of bralettes, but also just bras, like wire free bras. So I, I think this is new in this one. Um, I always get a medium just to be a little bit more comfortable and a bit more of a relaxed fit. And they come in three gorgeous shades. These two are my box standard, a nice lighter than normal nude and a darker than normal nude. And then it comes with this rich kind of burgundy red, good little Christmas color. So yeah, this is the first thing that I got and these were 10 pounds for the set of three. Okay, in case you were interested in what I'm already wearing, I got this set fairly recently from 
Abercrombie and Fitch. I actually featured it in at the end of my Zara haul that I uploaded recently. In fact, was it my last? It might have been my last video. So if you missed it, huge Zara haul and also some Abercrombie bits that I'm obsessed with. So I've got this hoodie which just has Abercrombie on the front and then uh, these ribbed leggings. Let me show you closer up like a nice rib knit super super soft and so comfy good autumn uh, oh, oh, i was gonna say autumnal and then it didn't come out at the end so i just said autumn autumnal color a nice rich chocolate brown but anyway let's move on to the bits that i got from primark so they have a brand new range this is what i was talking about earlier which is called the Primark Edit. It has some premium quality, a little more expensive, branding, materials, fabrics, designs, and even the labeling and everything is different to your standard Primark. So you can tell from the labeling of this coat that the inner label is just plain and simple, monochromatic. Same with the actual paper tag as well with the black thick ribbon. It's just premium. I mean, £45 for a coat from Primark it is on the steeper side, but when you get the great quality that comes with it, I'm more than happy to pay that price point. So this is a gorgeous wool coat in this beautiful beige oatmeal. This is super soft, so a great layering piece. In fact, I probably would even style it up with just more casual wear as well, like this with a hoodie on underneath. It's just something that I like to do when I'm wearing just loungewear to be able to throw on a nice wool coat and you can go out and about do your thing run errands do whatever it is you need to do and you're just kind of a little more put together than just if you were just in your loungewear the next set that i got and again i could layer up with this coat in fact i will do that as well i'll show you what this set looks like on with this coat so this is a loungewear set in a beautiful stone color and again, it's got that labeling and everything that the Primark edit range have. So the bottoms that I got in a small, which for Primark is a 10 to 12. These are 14 pounds, super soft, nice and thick, but not too restrictive. You know, when you get a real thick set that doesn't actually feel that comfy. So that is what the bottoms look like. Just drop the top. The top is a size 22 to 24 i got a 2xl because if i want to wear it with these joggers as a set fine perfect but also i think the most likely time that i'm going to wear this is actually out and about with leggings so um yeah i picked it oh, that's not even a word i picked up the larger size just for that versatility just so that if you can see it's just slightly longer on me okay this is what the set looks like on without the coat without layering it up as you can see the top part is nice and oversized to be worn with leggings if you just want your bum covered you know for nice dog walks and things to just have a nice cozy sweatshirt with leggings this is definitely a recommendation in terms of sizing up i would definitely do that and then as for the bottoms, they're actually not as high-waisted as I'd like them to be. I think they look all right with this layered up over the top. They're nice and comfy and stretchy and movable. But they just sit just an inch or two lower than I'd like them to be. I like things well above my belly button, whereas this just kind of sits on my belly button. So you can kind of shimmy it up a little bit. But um, I actually probably would just wear it like this with the top actually oversized and over the top of the joggers. Let me put on the oatmeal coat so you can see what this looks like layered up over the top. Even just kind of throw it over your shoulder like so. Um, just kind of an effortless look. The last and final thing I picked up from the Primark edit range is this pair of tailored trousers. I'm really hoping these fit well because I've been after a pair of trousers like this with not too much fuss, the gorgeous pleated design in a 12. I probably would have opted for a 10, especially if they're as high-waisted as I like them to be, but I didn't have the choice. 12 was the smallest size they had, so I opted for that at 19 pounds. Let's try these ones on. Okay, I've just moved you back a bit so you can see the full length of these. These are beautiful. They are such an amazing fit. I'm glad I went for the 12. There is a little bit of, um, 
you know, excess room for a food baby. But um, I probably could have got away with a 10. I also could have got away with a 12. So I don't think it would have been too different. I love the fit of these. I've just kind of paired it with this uh, white basic that I've got from H&M. And I've maybe put a blazer over the top as well. Black blazer maybe. And honestly, I'm in love. I would have paid 50 quid from Zara for these. I honestly was after just a nice tailored, smarter uh, pair of trousers. They're so comfy as well. Honestly, I feel like I've got pajamas on. That's the kind of material they are, like almost a satiny finish in love. How much are these? 19 pounds. Yeah, well worth it. Okay, so the last clothing item that I got is a yet another pair of bottoms and these are a faux leather in a sage green darted legging. I say legging but they do actually have the clasp at the front as a trouser fit. Now I've tried things on similar to this in the past to the nude version and they not be the best fit. So let's keep our fingers crossed that these ones do because at £13 this would be a great little colour injection into my wardrobe. Okay, these leggings, unfortunately, they are the similar fit to the uh, nude ones that I've bought in the past, where they just, they just gape a little at the back and they don't sit high enough at the back. So, you know, by the time that you've got them around your bum, if you've got a bigger bum like me, then it sits lower on the back than it does on the front. So that's the annoying thing. So if I had like an oversized jump over the top just so you can see the leg parts of the legging then I think they'd be fine but if you wanted to style it more like so where you had like a top tucked in maybe a bit more casually with a nice long chunky neck cardigan and some trainers I would still wear this because I suppose the back's not showing but it just would bug me not wearing um, anything over the top about the fact that this the the back part doesn't look very good um, you know, without anything covering it. It's a real shame. I just wish they just added that extra two inches on top of the waist so that it would sit higher up. I'd buy a ta size 10 instead of a 12 and then they'd be perfect because they're super stretchy and comfortable. So guys, that is everything that I picked up from Primark recently. I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul. I know it's not the biggest, but I definitely have some amazing gift ideas that they have currently in store, coming very soon within my gift guides. And who knows, I might be heading back. The more they get that Primark edit in, the more I wanna head back. They did actually have a cashmere jumper that was beautiful, that I thought would go beautifully with them trousers. But Primark did actually email and say they were gonna send me out one of those cashmere jumpers. So I thought I'll hold off and just wait for, for them to very kindly send me that. Okay, so this has literally just arrived just after finished a filming so i thought i would just um share it with you this is what i was talking about the from the primark edit plus how beautiful is this packaging it's made from like a paper white paper i don't know let's get this open and i'll show you what's inside so in store i actually saw oh hi there barney are you coming to have a look as well in store i saw this jumper in the gray so obviously this is more of the beige kind of oatmeal, matches my dog, you know. Got to be matchy-matchy, haven't we, bud? Yeah. So this is in a medium. They sent this at £19 for cashmere blend jumper. Is that? Yeah, oatmeal it says it's in. And it is lovely. It's just kind of like a simple crew neck fit, I would say. It's quite a thin, lightweight knit good layering piece and it is super soft you don't have to worry about it being itchy or anything it's really really soft because i can be quite fussy when it comes to that kind of thing thank you so much to primark for very kindly sending me this jumper of course had to just come on and share it with you guys thank you so so much for watching today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe for more and i hope to see you guys very very soon in my next video bye guys